Hello and welcome to the first in a new series of short videos. I'm going to be taking one of the games from the Squash TV free game library and I'm going to be looking at one, that's right, one shot probably guess from the title. Now, yes, you say, it's gonna be one of those spectacular cross-court nicks. It's gonna be one of the behind-the-back recoveries. It's gonna be through-the-leg drop shots, or it's gonna be the dives. But no, it's not gonna be one of those. It's gonna be the kind of shot that often gets overlooked, even by the Squash TV presenters. It's going to be the kind of shot that changes a rally. It's gonna be the kind of shot that creates opportunities. And as much fun as it is to watch those cross-court nicks and those other shots that I mentioned, those shots don't win matches. They win points. The kind of shots that I'll be looking at if you play them well enough and if you play them regularly, they can win matches. They can change the way you play squash. So, are you ready? Let's get started. So the match I've chosen for the very first episode of One Shot is between Joel Makin and Mason Hesham in the quarterfinals of the Qatar Classic 2021. Now, there were a number of shots that I could have chosen, but I actually chose a very basic cross court. So let's jump straight to that. So before we look at why it's such a good shot, let's watch it. And again. Okay, so why is this shot so good? Well, it hits the sidewall past the service box, it hits the sidewall very low, and against most club players, this would have either been a winner or you'd have probably been forced to boast and Joel would have been in charge of the rally. So I chose it because it doesn't look spectacular and Misum hit the ball back really easily, but honestly, club players won't be able to do that. Aim for this area when you hit your cross courts. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And of course, remember, do something every single day to improve your squad. See ya.